We got a special guest in the building. I'm super excited about this guy being in the building for several different reasons. First of all, Suma, is that correct? Yes. I want to make sure I pronounce the name because I don't want to be mispronouncing. <laughs> mispronouncing anybody's name. Let's get into it. First of all, tell us a little bit about Black Butterfly. But before you say that, I want to say that that sound, like if you don't know him or if you like see you walking straight, you would think like you were like a really quiet guy. Uh -huh. And so to hear you like go off like that was like, that's, that's really new for me, from you. I appreciate that, you know, like a lot of people get that from me. Like I give off those vibes, but like I'm a Libra. So it's all about balance. Oh, you did? You just had a birthday. Yeah, my birthday was Sunday. Dang, I heard you couldn't, even, birthday. You couldn't even turn up. You was on a fast. Yeah, I was fasting. So, what? I can't, they can't hear me? No, right. there we go. Hey, I'm working for some reason. All right, let's go. So yeah, so I was fasting during my birthday. So I fasted from the two things that I normally do on my birthday. Let's talk about it. And that is drinking and having sex. <laughs> you did that on purpose? <laughs> Um, not really, but kind of. I didn't okay. realize, I mean, I realized it, but it was like, damn, I already said I was going to do it. So, I'm going to stick it out. But it forced me to do something that was a little more out of the box for my birthday. Uh-huh. So, Made it have sex the day after? <laughs> 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 Look at it! Hey, wait a Is it 12 yet? <laughs> no, but yeah, it actually don't end till tomorrow, so, uh... So you already got a lot of appointment, you got your bottle You probably called out of work, hey boss man, right. can't come to <laughs> mom, bro. I got a I long got appointment. Way. Yeah. <laughs> I got that DA tomorrow. What? 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 Don't even worry about it, bro. Don't even worry so about I it. Wanna, I want to jump back into Black Butterfly <clears throat> because I know they say don't judge a book by its cover, but the sound I got from that song was definitely not something I was expecting from you as an artist. Because just listening to it, it like went into like techno. Yeah. And it really, it grasped me, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I told them off air guys that I felt like it was going to be like this killer dance sequence. And you know like when you hit like that dun, 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 and you see the dancers like hitting every beat. Mm -hmm. That's what I saw. If I could, you know, imitate it, I definitely would have. But you did it. Yeah, I did yeah. it in my mind. But well, I saw a little for it to translate to here. Uh -huh. To where? I, to, believe, I believe in you. <laughs> thank you. But so nice. that we need a little bit more than belief. Yeah. You know, we need a little bit more than that. Do so, you. do you dibble dab and take no or was that just an experiment with Black Butterfly? Okay, so, um, my musical background is like ridiculous. I've been like, I've been doing music majority of my life. And I have like influences from all the way from classical music to rock music to. Uh, EDM, techno, you know what I'm saying? So I, I like to incorporate uh, elements of everything into my music. This is the first time I just went went all the way for it mm -hmm. with this song. I got some songs that's like, got some heavy rock influence in them mm -hmm. too. So it's like, I like to try a lot of different things. So do, you dance? Mm -hmm. do you dance? Uh, I used to back in back in my heyday. So I now you need like what's the thing on Wizard of Oz? They had to put a little oil on the on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the tin. You got you got the oil up. Yeah, I got oil up a little bit. But I still got it though. <laughs> yeah. So I, I I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, who do people tell you your favorite? Everybody say I look like the classic man. Yeah, you sure do. Classic. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I mean, you ain't. I think it's, it's just red. yeah, it's man. Like, yeah. It's yeah. the red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and even the, the, the sound of the music, as far as like wanting to not be in the lane with everybody else, like all of that, it's kind of fits. How long have you been in music? What? Uh, what do you mean by that question? Like, what was your first song, and then like what okay. made you know, like what age? Like, you know, I think I want to kind of sing or dance. Or okay, that. so I'll say the first time I ever recorded something was my senior year of high school, mm -hmm. and um. The first time when I realized that I really wanted to do this, like for real, for real, was 2012. Mm. But I've been, like I said, I've been singing in church choir since I was a little kid. I've been, uh, I was in a band. You know, I Where played, play? uh, I started off, well, the first instrument I ever played was guitar. Couldn't, don't remember now from when I was like five. <laughs> and then, music. And then, um, then I played trumpet. Then I moved on to lower brass, a baritone, trombone. Mm -hmm. um, in high school, we had to pick a major. I majored in music, so I had to take music theory, music uh, history, harmony, piano classes. Like, so I, I know how to write and read sheet music. 
So like my musical background is like really intense. Mm -hmm. So that's why you'll hear a lot of elements of a lot of different things in my because music. Because you just like music. Yeah. It's just not nothing it's, specific. It's, it's just like a, music yeah, as it's a like whole. A part I think that's you as a whole, though. You don't have just like one job. Like you, yeah. I didn't know you did for you ten jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of stuff. But he's just like your image just gives me that type of guy. Like we can put a different hat on you, and you can fit in any mm -hmm. category. You know what I'm saying? Like give me a skilly, be on some hood stuff. Yeah. Give him a, um, a top hat. Yeah. yeah. I'm, from, I'm from Detroit, so the hood is in me. Our, it's our so friends. cold in the deep. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to see where that was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see you. <laughs> I know a little something. So, how long have you been in photography? Uh, I started doing photography. Um, actually, I bought my first camera because I was in a rap group and we needed some pictures. So, I bought a camera. And I started taking pictures, and then how like, long ago was the group? This was what was y'all name called? Uh, our name was DM Dubs. Sexual Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated May Winners. Who? Dedicated it's May too Winners. Long. <laughs> That's why I was DM Dubs. DM Dubs. DM Dubs. Oh, but yeah. the real name's still too long. Yeah. But that's like the abbreviation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's still too long. <laughs> like TLC. <laughs> what was that? What was that for? Oh. oh yeah. It See, was. you got to see the nice part on. But it's Michael like Jackson you got to know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Tina Love and K over here. That's not right. That's it's Michael T Boss, Left there. Eye, and Chill. You can't listen to that one. But yeah, and just like um um Bev Bev DeVoe. Yeah. BBD. BBD. See, I said, see, that's before my time, so I don't be knowing all that. Mm -hmm. Get it together. That's old school. Anyway, okay, so how long did the group last? So the the, the group lasted a good like year. God. Because <laughs> like uh, it was me, uh, one of my one of my best friends, and then one of his friends, and um, like his friend, like he got he got strung out on drugs. To be honest. Oh man. It was, um. It was around the time when Molly was popular, and his drug dealer was selling, feel like selling him crystal meth and telling him it was Molly, and he got hooked on it. Why do you feel like musicians get so wrapped up in that world? Um, I, a lot of them. Because <laughs> I was thinking <laughs> like, I was so thinking <laughs> too. A lot of them feel like they needed uh, to be creative, to clear their mind. Go ahead, Ray. I, I do feel like some people use it as creativity, you know what and I'm saying? Escape. I'm here for that and they escape, but I do feel like a lot of people are trying to fit that image. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think, oh, I'm an artist, I have to do drugs or I have to drink, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I have to do the cool thing that artists do and it's like, no you don't, like, be you and be the best you ever, but that's what you mm -hmm. see when you see an artist i.e. rappers or whatever, when they go to the club, they turn it up. Mm -hmm. Bottles, drunk, high, you know, mm -hmm. popping pills. Like, and they just feel like, are. yeah, they it's wanna, like, you want to be a cool kid. <laughs> be a cool kid. Like, I, I give it to people like, uh, who was it? I think, was it Wiz? I don't want to be misquoted, but one of the artists, and I think it might have been Wiz, either, it was one of these artists, one of these rappers. And they were getting so much pushback about using weed. Mm -hmm. And that he was like, and if it wasn't Wiz, I apologize, but let's say a rapper that I remember hearing an interview from. He said he smokes because he suffers from anxiety. Mm -hmm. And when he smokes before he goes on stage, it calms him so he doesn't panic. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's like a nerve control. It is. You know? And so, but that's just marijuana. But they've legalized marijuana in some states. I'm never going to be okay with a man-made drug. Mm -hmm. Like, something you literally telling me you t you making something. And, and putting whatever in and you selling it to somebody. I still can't believe we drink alcohol. That's man-made. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell y'all something else. Like, be careful with all of these, um, these THC products. Cause, the legalized ones. Like, even the legalized ones. Because you got to think about it like this. The coca leaf is natural. Cocaine ain't. <laughs> yeah. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you, marijuana, the marijuana leaf is a plant. Yeah. But when you extract in pure THC, that's a drug. Yeah. Whether you want to believe it or whether we want to think about it or not, right. that's a drug. But I think that's where it comes from with the legalized stuff. Mm -hmm. Like once they put it to making it legalized and the government is profiting mm -hmm. off of it, that's when it becomes dangerous. It. Yeah, yeah. It, it has become dangerous because like when people are like, oh, you can go to California and buy weed from a vending machine. And I'm mm -hmm. like, would you really trust that? They because do. you had people dying. Did they get spoiled? 
I don't, I don't know how I don't to know. Know. So I'm I'm the machine, but I think it's real stupid to be able to walk up to a machine just like you get a bag of chips out this machine. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, really yeah it's but it's just like, did you guys <laughs> not hear about the people dying? You um taking the um synthetic marijuana? Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't. It was synthetic, so we don't know what they put in it, but they were selling it. And that's all people that act like when you put into these vending machines, people could like be like lacing these bags, mm -hmm. just like them bananas. It was it the cocaine. <laughs> that's no seriously. That's no, what I was going to say. It's so crazy. You know how we talk, talk about you having multiple um, hats. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you just put your pharmacy coat on yeah. and enlighten us about. Let us find out. <laughs> Street pharmacist. Let us find out. Listen, let's really jump back into the music. Into the music, bro. I'm like, we don't sit around. ADD, Grimes, and this family. But um, let's say this. Well, if we take it back before the group, you were singing in the church choir. Is that what really came out to you that you liked music? Is that that moment? Or we had someone else come in and was like, when they first saw Michael Jackson perform on TV, they knew that they wanted you know to be in the music so with you being active in the church and the choir was that when the light bulb went off honestly no nah. um when i was singing in the church choir it was just like i was a kid <clears throat> and that's what we was all doing it was, you know it was, you it, was, it was fun it was fun and it was keeping us out of trouble mm -hmm. like you said I was, i'm from detroit like they say idle time is the devil's playground. Oh, so yes. my parents kept us busy. Yeah. Oh, that's true. So how long, how, to what age did you sing in the choir? Um, I sang in the choir all the way up to... It's the build-up, so watch what to say. Probably, um, like my sophomore year of college. See, that's what I was waiting on. So what was your favorite church song to sing? Because you know you're about to uh, be put on the spot, no. right? That's why I said it's the build-up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still sing? I do a little song, yeah, I do a little song like, song like my boy. You know what I'm saying? Get some more water. Get some yeah, right. we, we got some more water. <laughs> yes. um, In a glass. What, 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 what did y'all say? I like from? singing uh, Order My Steps. Oh. In your word, dear Lord. Mm, mm. Be God, be every, day. every day. Y'all say that. Y'all say that. Everybody. Father, I pray. That's a, high, that's, that's a high song. Yeah. No, because that ain't no alto tenor song. It's soprano all day. You can get up there like that? Ooh. Oh, okay. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm, I'm, tenor. Tenor. Yeah, I'm tenor. I just sing it in tenor. <laughs> I order my uh, step. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that was my, like, no. When that lady hit that note, take me, father. Take me, take me. I'm gone. So you brought another single for us to hear. Tell us a little bit about the next single that you brought for us. Um, the next one is called Pass That. It is... What are we passing? I don't have to say it. Really. <laughs> Pass it to me. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, yeah, we passing some stuff. So, uh, <laughs> um, Pass That is a track that me, um, my good friend, Jay Suave, and DJ J Rock, um, we collabed on. It's been getting a lot of uh, play on radio and a bunch of different uh, arenas. So, uh, about I think like 20, 25 different markets right now. Okay. Um, Are you performing anywhere anytime soon? Um, I will be pl uh, performing during A3C. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Um, at a couple different. That's pretty big. Places. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. huge. Yeah. That's huge. So um, yeah, this track is 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 hot. Are you gonna perform this one that's coming out? Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, this track, it, gets, it has that nice kind of bounce to it. It kind of has that Kelly vibe. Well, mm -hmm. we can pass that. Yeah. Look at that. See, he go from Detroit to techno, Kelly vibe. Kelly vibe. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. We're about to put the lights down in the room, and we're going to see if we feel like passing that. All right, y'all. Keep it locked. It's WTNT's and Q in the street. What you passing? Water. <laughs> <laughs> And bend over, and bend over, bow. <laughs> oh. The remix coming on, but I had to stop myself. Welcome back, guys. Y'all like know what time it is. It's WTNT 107.7. Killing the streets. streets. So we have passed a few things around in this room. I, I feel like I know what I was passing around in my mind. I think when you listen to the song, it's all in what you passed. So let's get into the story the first time that you heard this on the radio. All right. So the first time I heard this song on the radio, um, so I had a show at the Omen Agency. And um, so the night before, 
I had just totaled my car. Oh. So, um, <laughs> just totaled my car. I get to the show. I had to, first off, I had to catch the train and then Uber to the show. And, um, so I get on stage, you know, I do my thing. And, um, I see the, the DJ, uh, DJ D-Rock, he had sent me, a, um, like something to post. I didn't even really look at it, nothing like that. Um, I just posted it. And then I start getting all of these congratulations messages on my timeline. And you like, oh, so you like what, what, what am I being congratulated for? So I look, and it's V103 playing the record. Hey, how did it get there and you not know it? He was focused on that car. Yeah, like, well, the thing was, um, DJ D Rock was the one who really um, got it there. Yeah. So he was the one who. Um, you know, he has connections or whatever, so he pulled the strings. He told us he was going to do it. You know, a lot of people say a lot of things mm -hmm. in Atlanta. So, in the industry. Um, I wasn't really, I didn't get my my hopes up. It was just like, okay, if it happened, it happened, it don't, cool. But then it happened. So what state of mind are you in right now to have such a hot single? Uh, I think we here at Q in the Streets, I love it. And I definitely want to hear it again before we get off air tonight. How does it feel to have, to be where you are, to coming out of a situation where you just got in a huge wreck and, you know, very next day your song is on air on one of the most prominent radio stations in the makeup music in Atlanta? It That's was, huge. It was huge. It was. It was like... It's such a big market, too. Yo. It's not like a small market yeah, radio station. Yeah, B103 is huge. It's huge. And it was like prime time. It was like uh, Friday or Saturday night. Mm-hmm. So like, it was like going from. I can see you in there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm on the radio. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I was lit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, especially coming off of something so like devastating. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. just like smashing my car up is like, the, like when they say it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. I felt that in my soul. Yeah. You feel me? Like <laughs> it was like so many good and bad things happening at the same time. Like, that wasn't the only thing that happened. Like, when I say <laughs> the, year, the year leading up to this single break-in. Don't he always do it like that? My car got hit seven times. So you just think of a cause. I was about to so five you. times. Like, <laughs> so the thing was, two of the times I wasn't even in my car. <clears throat> Three times I got somebody hit me and ran. Three different times? Three different you times. Drive on you didn't hear him. It's yeah, like, you, you, know, you, you drive the cars like cute with cell phones. <laughs> Don't jinx me. Like, real, real. Like, <laughs> yeah. when I say, like, <laughs> it was crazy. It was like, I feel like this can't be happening. Yeah. And that <laughs> eighth time, it. it's a total? Yeah. Dang. So and this is all in this year? This is all last year. Uh oh. Luckily. Thank God I haven't been in car accidents. Congratulations. in my car. Well, congratulations on where you are in your career right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just hit in prime radio. So, yeah. FM, that's that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And prime time, Friday, Saturday night, where everybody partying, about to go out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, a lot of people have heard your music. And that's why I reached out. I was like, let me hit up my boy because I see you, I see you moving. So please let us know the next time that you are doing something in the city. You got family here now. Q in the streets is going to try to, you know, come out and make it. Now don't forget about us, you know, when the songs just be all in Cali and all over the freaking world. Are you working on that remix? Yeah, I mean we are we ready. Listen, we got our dances. Been in the van, I'm trying to give it to you. <laughs> See, you got the hype girl. I'm just I gonna be trying to smoke some weed into the. I, that, I'm telling you what I want to do. I just right. want to be in the video to puff, puff, pay. So you gonna right, be the one that's gonna be. Yeah. The I'm gonna hit y'all up for the video for real. Right. Walk past like me and you think that I knew you. Yeah. Yeah. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> so every day before, can you back? Can we do that again? While I get ready you. to go out, let us yeah. know your social media where everybody can find you. I'm about to download it on my phone right now. Can, it's well, on it's, iTunes. It's already on my it phone. It's on iTunes. Okay. It's yeah. on iTunes. It's on Spotify. It's on uh, everywhere where you can uh, stream music. Congratulations, C man. I appreciate it. It's just uh, again, it's 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 crazy how small the industry is. Uh -huh. Like, 
we've seen we've been in passing like three or four years now. Yeah. Just like three or four years, and it's never been like a lot of conversations. One of those things like, yo, what's up? Keep yeah. doing your thing. I let you boom. And it's like one of those. So proud of where you are in your career. Continue to strive. Continue Appreciate to chase that. your dreams, man. Continue making music and make good music. Make fun music. This sounds like a good fun song, and it's radio ready. Like you're already on the radio. So just continue to just keep putting out them positive vibes. And again, congratulations to you. All right, guys, we get ready to go back into past that. We got our boy Soma in the building. Man, appreciate you for coming by. WTNT's 107.7 Q in the streets. It's past that. Thanks for having me, man.